David Dennis, one of the storied chefs in the history of Alice Waters' Chez Panisse, more than any other, helped define that restaurant's cooking style, has a giant reputation. In reality, he's of short stature, incredibly reserved, with a humility that is always a surprise when you compare him to chefs of his age with far fewer accolades. In 1981, he started at Chez Panisse Baking Bread, then, a year later, became the chef of the restaurant's upstairs cafe. In 2011, Dennis retired from Chez Panisse and moved to New York, where he began writing a weekly cooking column for the New York Times called City Kitchen, which ran until 2019. Now, he writes a monthly seasonal menu column for the newspaper and has under his belt four cookbooks, the most recent being 2017's David Tannis Market Cooking. But as experienced a chef as he is, Dennis is still eager to learn. A student-like excitement comes through in how he talks with farmers market vendors, or when he asks questions about how other people cook a dish similar to one he's cooked dozens of times. It's in his nature to create a constant student-teacher dynamic in the way he cooks, by himself and with others. And it's a wrap or he hopes comes through with diners as he starts another chapter of his life at Lulu, his and Waters' new restaurant at the Hammer Museum in Westwood, Waters' first new restaurant since Chez Panisse opened in 1971. Chez Panisse proved there are other ways, more human ways, Kala. There should always be some degree of learning going on in a restaurant. And so coming into Lulu, I don't have a system in mind. I have a few notions of what I want the food to be and the experience of working in other places to pull from, but I approach this as an experiment in how to run a restaurant, 